Hey, it's Nick Carpenter. I want to show you how to create a blog post uh, when your WordPress blog is up and active. How you can go in and create, uh, write your first blog post. So you go to your website, backslash wp-admin. That's going to take you into the, um, into the backside of your website. And you're going to just log in with, with whatever your login information is. And then once you land here, you're going to land on the dashboard. And so you have two ways that you can create a new blog post. Number one, you can go here on the plus button. It's going to drop down and we can create a new post right there. The second way, we can go here to posts and we can add a new post. Is they're going to take you to the exact same place. So once we get uh, once we get this section pulled up where we can actually write our blog post, you're going to notice it's basically like using a what you see is what you get um, editor. Um, so you get a lot of options here as far as how you're going to set it up. Some WordPress uh, themes, depending on which theme you have on your site. It could have a, th a page builder. Um, you're always going to get visual or HTML as your two options. So if you're familiar with coding or you're bringing in a YouTube video, something like that, you'll do some in HTML. Primarily, anytime you're going to write a blog, though, you're going to do it inside of the visual tab. So what you're going to do is, this is where you would write your blog. I'm going to go just to the lorem ipsum and I'm just going to get some fake um, text here. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to pull that into my blog. So you can see right there, this is how we would write our blog post, right? If we wanted to create some, some bold text, we could do that. If we wanted to create some italicized text, we have that option as well. If we need to, um, you know, strike out some words, we can do that. So you can see there's a lot of options here, right? If you need to, if you need to create, um, you know, create some type of a list, here we can create a list. You know, so I just want to show you a couple of the things that are available, depending on also what theme you're getting. You may have this quotation right here, and you can create a block quote. I'm just going to put that inside of a block box, just so you can see what that looks like right now. Let's do a preview. Kind of see what the blog post looks like so far. So there you can see there's our bold text. You can see our italicized text, our list that we're making, our block text. It puts it inside of a little box. So you can see you know, all these different different things that we're able to do um, to create our blog post. So what you want to do is once you once you've created your blog post, just make sure that you're previewing it so that it looks how you want it to look. So let's go preview it again. Let's just, you know, we'll just make sure that it's it's how we want it to look. And so we can just go through here, we could scroll in, we could just double check everything. We like the way that it I like the way everything is looking. We could say, okay, you know what? Actually, we don't need we don't need that section right there. So we could just remove that section. And once we like it, um, once we like it, we can just hit publish. So let me just put it under a certain tab here. And then oh, let's make sure we put a title on here. So let's just call our title. We're going to call this a test blog for WordPress. Test blog for WordPress modules. Okay, so I'm going to publish that blog. So we just wait for WordPress to update. So now it's updated. So I'm going to go here and I can actually, we can actually see that the blog is live on the website. And if we go to the home screen, you're going to see here on my site that that the blog is right here so it's a it is a live blog that exists out there in space right now and um, so that's how you create a blog post